Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Radical Rundown. My name is Brian Buckosh, Core Design Engineer with Brunswick Bowling, and today we're talking about the brand new No Doubt Symmetrical Ball that contains a brand new core design, the No Doubt Symmetrical Core. This core has a 248 RG and a total differential of 051 when it's undrilled. This core does not quite look like the previous symmetrical radical cores that you guys have been accustomed to seeing in terms of the design features. We'll get to that in one second. This is a core that Phil is calling a super symmetrical core because it has attributes of both asymmetry and symmetrical balls after drilling. If you're a longtime Radical fan, you'll probably recognize this core right here. This is the original ridiculous symmetrical core. And if you've been following the channel, you know that our core designer, Steve Freshour, has been doing predictive analysis to understand how the ball motion of cores is going to work before they're even designed. Using his new predictive analysis software and his core design talent, he came up with the No Doubt Core that has a lower RG but a very similar differential to the 050 differential ridiculous core. You'll notice at first glance that these cores don't look that similar, but as we do a deep dive, you'll learn that this No Doubt Core is the direct descendant of the original Ridiculous, which was, of course, a fan favorite symmetrical core in the early Mo and Steve design days. Of course, this Ridiculous Core had the big scoop at the top, and it had an incredibly high RG for a symmetrical ball at 254. Now, because this ball is 248, it doesn't have so much height. It has a lot of core mass that drives the RG down for a faster revving response to friction, but because it's not so tall, that means that the scoop is much more subdued. Despite this difference, the characteristics are actually quite similar. They have a tapered body that has a high parting line and tapered down to a narrower peak at the bottom of the core. If you look at these cores from the top down, you'll notice that they have a very similar characteristic profile. The Ridiculous Core has a D-shaped profile cross-section, and the wings on the sides of the core are actually behind the intermediate plane. The new No Doubt Core has a guitar pick-shaped cross-section, and just like this Ridiculous Core, it has wings, the intermediate cross-section, that is behind the intermediate plane. Although the RG values are not exactly alike in these two cores, being a medium RG core and a high RG core respectively, the motions on the lanes are reminiscent of one another. This no doubt, of course, is built for more modern oil conditions with slicker oils and heavier volumes, so the RG is lower. But not only that, this core was designed in the era where balance holes are no longer allowed. It's also built in the era where oils are heavier and slicker, so the lower RG is preferred. The post drill differentials of both of these balls are still very similar both without a balance hole in the No Doubt and with a balance hole in the original Ridiculous. After drilling the original Ridiculous with a strong double thumb layout, you're going to get a post drill differential of 060. With this No Doubt, even with no balance hole, after drilling, you get an 059 total differential in the max flip layout. And that's due to the larger core body and the characteristic nose that most radical cores have which pushes the mass of the inner core toward the shell of this ball, which means that when you drill your fingers or your thumb into it, the core is going to be intersected quicker than it would with this tall, slender, ridiculous core design. Because of the nose on this core also, it gives you a little more intermediate differential when you drill the thumb into the front of this core, which gives it some characteristics of asymmetrical balls, because the intermediate differential is pushed higher than it would be with other symmetrical designs. This increase in intermediate differential is going to increase the response to friction at the back of the lane, giving you a ball that's reminiscent of a symmetrical ball with a balance hole, even though balance holes are no longer allowed. That's all the information I have on the No Doubt and this brand new super symmetrical core. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm happy to respond when I have the time. Join our conversation at the Radical Bowling's fan page and make sure you check out RadicalBowling.com for all the latest news and information. I'm Brian Buckosh and this has been the Radical Rundown.